This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Today we're going to cover ERSPAN. So ERSPAN um, stands for Encapsulated Remote Switch Port Analyzer. Uh, and essentially it creates a GRE tunnel to let you mirror traffic across a Layer 3 network. Uh, so the, the greatest benefit to being ERSPAN as opposed to SPAN is it encapsulates that traffic. So therefore it keeps the uh, VLAN headers and the packet headers intact. Uh, across a layer 3 network. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a profile. So we'll go into config T here. Uh, we'll create a monitor dash profile. Um, give it a number. Give it a type which is ER span. All right and then under this we need a source IP which generally is the is our IP address. So the the uh, this end of the tunnel is going to be one of our switch IP addresses. So I'm going to make it 192.168.2.4 uh, for this end of the tunnel. The destination IP is generally your PC or your sniffer at the remote end that's going to be that's going to be receiving that mirrored traffic. So um, let's say destination dash IP. Uh, 192.168.1.1. As you can see, that's not on the same subnet. That that's across a layer three WAN. It's connected to another switch across a across a WAN connection. Um, so that's all we need for that. We'll exit there. Then we need to go to the interfaces where we want to capture the traffic from. So we'll say interface E one slash one slash seven, uh, and we're going to do a uh, monitor profile uh, profile one and inbound or outbound or both. So I'm going to do both directions. Um, so then we can do a show. Let me exit out of that so it's a little bit cleaner. And we'll show uh, ER span uh, profile one. So what we see here is uh, we can see that it's type is ER span. It's mirror destination is reachable. So that do, this doesn't doesn't mean that that the destination PC is alive and reachable. It means that the subnet is reachable that that destination is on. So this switch knows how to get to 192.168.1/0 either through the default gateway or it has an explicit route to get there. But either way, it's a reachable subnet. So that's good. Um, then we see our destination we set up 192.168.1.1. Uh, we see the destination MAC address, um, the source IP, and the source MAC, uh, the outgoing port. So we're going out. 1 slash 2 slash 1, which is one of my 10 gig ports, to get to that destination. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's directly connected to the next device. It just means that's my outbound port to get to that route. Uh, and then we see my ports monitored. So inbound monitoring 1 slash 1 slash 7, outbound 1 slash 1 slash 7. Um, so you can have up to four uh, ER span sessions on a switch. Um, uh, and, uh, and and so that's really it. So so one of the things you can do at the remote side is uh, it's a GRE tunnel. So if you are using some kind of port analyzer, um, you can limit that traffic to uh, protocol number 47 or in hex that's 2F to just capture that GRE traffic. And so that will be your mirrored traffic on the remote side, and you should be able to see the VLAN headers and the, the, the complete packets intact when it comes out of that tunnel at the remote end. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for joining.